This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, it's a great schos. We're here in Sachachav. This was the ancient cemetery, the Jewish cemetery in Sachachav. It was completely destroyed by the Nazis in World War II. Every single headstone was taken and thrown into the river, including the oil of the two Rebbes and their headstones. This was then turned into it laid at a, as a barren field. During communism, it was used as a soccer field and then a garbage dump. Many Hasidim tried, they came here to try to locate the kever of the Avnei Nezer and the Shem Shmuel with no luck. For how long? For 50 years. 1991, after the fall of communism, Rabbi Yehuda Vidavsky, Sachet Shavar Chassid from Lodz, he was in Tel Aviv. He came here, he tried to restore the Oihel. He had petitioned to build a fence around the perimeter of the walls of, the, of where the cemetery was. They built the walls. He invited Rabbi Aaron Yisrael Bornstein, the son of the Shem Ishmael in Tel Aviv, to come here to try to remember where the kever was. Rabbi Aaron Yisrael recalled that it was 35 meters from the entrance. So Rabbi Vadavsky hired Polish workers to dig out the area. They found nothing. He hired someone who used machines to scan the area for bones. Nothing. He didn't give up. He searched the neighborhood. He found an old Sachachava lady who grew up here. He brought her to the cemetery and she says, Why are you searching here? It's over there. And they started to dig where this lady said. They discovered the wooden board where the Avnei Nezer was buried. Next to it, they found a piece of the wood where the Shem Yishmael was buried. They restored the graves. They built uh, this Oihel. There's a monument here to commemorate the uh, Jews of Sachachav before the war. There were, there were 5,000 Jews in the community here. When I was here five years ago, there was one Jew in the community. And today, there are no Jews in the entire city of Sachachav. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.